Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. It's raining today, so hip hip hooray for us. The weather for tomorrow is raining again, so I might actually want to put my watering can into into Clint's. I think I need 5,000 G to do that, though. Fortune teller for today is annoyed again, God. Living off the land is most towns have a seasonal calendar. Yep, we know that. We are aware of that. We should have a birthday coming up. I believe. Uh, we don't have to worry about farming, or at least, uh, you don't have to worry about watering the crops today, but I need to start, I need to remember every day as part of my daily ablutions that I usually cut out of here, I need to remember to pick these up every day because they are good for energy, and I want to save them up, and it also just makes for a better habit, all in all. Okay, so, hi chicken. Yay, I got a couple of eggs. Hello, what's up? All right, yeah, you're still one star. I I think a couple of times I've actually forgotten to refill its hay, so shame on me, I suppose. All right, so grab, ooh, blueberries, awesome. And I notice I can do the weed also. Okay, uh, you guys aren't ready. Are you ready? Oh yeah, you're ready. Oh, no. Nah, 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 nah. Let's grab all our radishes. Is, is, is. Okay, so this is going to be it for this crop because, well, I mean, I actually could grow some more. But, let me see, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20, yeah. I mean, and the reason I was doing that is not because I can't add. I was sitting there thinking that if the first day that these radishes started growing was the 23rd, would it have enough time to make it to the 28th? The answer ultimately is yes. So, actually, that would be a good idea. Well, let me grab, let's put you guys up. I've got to admit, I'm kind of tempted by the idea of going into the mines again, even though, again, the day is not really set for it. Because... I just... I don't know. I want to... And I, what I should probably do also is actually go fish to see if I can find... Because if I'm not mistaken, the some of the fish that I can find... I maybe can only find in the rain, so I should actually do that too, probably. Let's go fish. Alright, so... Yeah, I will put all my stuff up. And while I'm on the way, I'm probably going to also go by... To... Go by Pierre's and buy stuff. Uh, effectively, most notably, buy cooking stuff. I also want to check the board for birthdays and requests and the like. And hope that I didn't skip anybody. I'm... I might have actually and yeah I think actually I probably will go fish because luck being bad is bad especially for the mining and we saw how badly that very nearly went yesterday so I don't want to risk it ultimately there we go so I can put my egg in here so yeah I think I'll do that uh, I will finish what little I have left to do here I will check the community board and the like and I will see you guys when we get to doing some fishing. Alright, so there actually are a couple of things I want to mention. First off, I went ahead and bought an apple seedling because it takes 28 days to grow, bears fruit only in the fall, and we actually need an apple in order to fill out the community center bundle, or one of the community center bundles. Another thing is, there are a couple of fish that I want to find that I can actually find today if I'm lucky. They are the red snapper and the tilapia. If we find both of them, then we can actually finish out the ocean fish bundle. And I'm hoping I can get both. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, that's probably one of them. Oh god. I may not be able to do that with this rod. Good lord, did you see that thing start up? Wow. Wow. That's insane. Another thing I note, it is it is Dwarf's birthday. So Dwarf likes all the gemstones that you can find. So I'm probably going to find the most, I guess, lucrative one that I can locate. And then we'll take it from there and hope that we can get him a good birthday present. And also catch my fish. That'd be great. That'd be wonderful. There's your red snapper. And a treasure chest with bait. So now I just need to find a tilapia. Oh, I hope I find a tilapia soon.
Wow. The last fish that I was looking to catch is the tilapia that we needed. How about that? Because the tilapia has actually stopped spawning at 2 p.m. But the good news is with tilapias is that they're not like the red snappers. The red snappers are a rain fish, so you can only get them then. The tilapias, on the other hand, are not. So you can, they're 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. during the summer. So it's a pretty tight window to get them, but you can still get them pretty well on any day of the week if you get out there early enough to be fishing and kind of give it plenty of time to act. But hallelujah. I was sitting there thinking for a while, I'm like, there's no freaking way I'm going to be able to get it. And I did. Hi, Marnie. Can I buy something from you? Can I buy an animal? Yes. No. Doggone it. Well, crap. Okay, so I'm going to have to save some money for a cow. And then I'm going to have to save some money for much bigger barns and such. Good lord. Okay. Also, hey, Jazz. How's it going? Are you looking for Aunt Marnie? No, I already found her. Okay, I can't... Right, actually, let me bribe you with an egg. Thank you. Are you bribed enough? Can I get into your room now? You are not bribed enough. Fooey. Okay, we're going to have to bribe you some more. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm going to go... Well, actually, let's go ahead and go up here and plant my apple tree. And then we're going to go over to the community center and finish off that fish bundle. Okay, so trees... They're kind of interesting because with trees, you want to make sure that when you plant them, that there are no surrounding tiles that have anything on them. Because if not, or if you if you don't make sure of that, they won't grow. So you got to make sure that they're cleaned out. So probably what would be a good idea for a tree is if you want to make sure that nothing encroaches on it, just build fences around it or build a fence around it so that you don't have to worry about that. All right, so... Oh, are these pickable? Not yet. Okay. Well, I might be able to finish out the melons then. I thought I was done with those for whatever reason. All right. So two of you can go in there because you're donated. And yeah, you guys all go in there. Then you're donated also, and the clam, you can just go into the kitty. Uh, let's see. Actually, let me grab... Do I have anything that's super special? I've got... Well, he also likes Omni Geodes, so I actually give him an Omni Geode for his birthday. Yeah. Hey, happy birthday, dwarf. I'm going to give you a Geode. All right, so you go in. You guys are donated. You, I guess, go in. I don't know. You go in. And, yeah, that'll pretty much do it. So, I'm going to jet over to Dwarfs, because I can do so with the minecarts. And then I'll see you guys when I get there, and then when I get to the community center. Happy birthday to Dwarf. You live in a wharf. You don't make me want to borf. Happy birthday to Dwarf. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. Yay! And that means Dwarf already has two hearts. And we've just given him two gifts. So, again, hooray for the power of birthdays. All right, well, I will see you guys at the community center so we can turn in these fishies and go about our merry business celebrating all the while. Hello, fishy tank. I have a surprise for you. I have ocean fishies that I procured fresh from the ocean today. And yes, it's unfortunate that I'm giving away gold stars, but whatever. And so for this bundle, we get warp totems to the beach, which are pretty good if you want, especially to get some early fishing in. You will be able to make them later, but not yet. All right, so we have night fishing, which the eel, I believe, is a summer fish, but... I don't remember the details on it. Let's see. I actually know it's a fall fish. Never mind. The other one, I don't remember quite offhand. Then we've got two more river fish, which I think they're both falls. And then lastly, we have three specialty fish. The puffer fish, actually, we can get in the summer. But it is also an early fish as well, I believe. So, yeah, you kind of got to get there pretty quickly to do that. So the warp totems obviously will come in handy for that sort of thing. All right, so I think with... That being done, I'm going to go fish some more. Probably the lake, because that's closest to the minecarts, and I can get back to the house quickly from there. 
Alright, so with my abundant remaining energy, I decided I was going to go ahead and just fish right here next to the mine door, because why not, really? Uh, also, I looked into the pufferfish, and I was, as it turns out, I was mistaken. The pufferfish is not a morning fish. It's an afternoon fish. It's 12 to 4 every day during summer. So, it doesn't really... Wow, two aquamarines, nice. It doesn't really allow for much time to find it, which is unfortunate. But still, you've got... Well, we've got a few days to acquire it yet, so I may end up doing a fair bit of... Well, I may end up doing a fair bit of ocean fishing over the next few days to make sure that that is ultimately taken care of. And also, apparently, we love our treasure chests and our cart today. My goodness. That's good. I mean, I like that. Treasure chests are good. Obviously, carps are okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't be fishing them. So, yeah, my goal over the next few days may very well be to try to find some puffer fish. It kind of... I mean, especially since I think that's really about the last item that we will really need to get during the summer. That may very well take precedence over much of anything else. I mean, I may end up using one of those warp totems a day to get down there quickly and then just try to fish the whole time from 12 to 4. I don't know. I mean, it kind of depends on what I'm going to do. I mean, obviously, what I probably should be doing is using some of the money that I end up getting to buy the at least the fiberglass fishing rod. I know I said I wanted to save up for the iridium one. But I should probably just stick to the fiberglass one because it will be the most productive in regards to, well, at least speed of production anyway. I can get it probably after, frankly, today. Or maybe today or tomorrow. Darn it. And in doing so, then I can put bait, which obviously means I'll catch fish faster. So that really will probably pay for itself in a couple of fishing days, I would expect. A little tough to say exactly, but we'll see ultimately. So that, I think, is probably going to be the goal for the rest of the summer, beyond obviously harvesting the crops that I already have and seeing if they fit the gold star standard. Crap. Uh, and that is going to be trying to get a puffer fish, because if I don't, then essentially any ability of ours to be able to finish out the community center is dead and gone. Just frankly, it's it's done. It's toast. Even though it might be kind of toast anyway. But if we don't get the puffer fish, that's it. I mean, we cannot complete the community center in year one. And I kind of feel like, I mean, even though I came in with the saying that I wasn't really necessarily goaling for that, I'm still going to feel a little disappointed if I don't pull that off. Just because I really should have. I suppose. I should have planned it out better, but then again, I also came into this saying that I wasn't really going to get too tetchy about planning things out. Okay. Two more baits. That'll work. So, therein lies our goal for the next few days. Hopefully, we'll be able to pull it off, but if not, well, eh. I'll be a little disappointed, but I guess there's not a whole lot I can do about it if they just don't spawn on the days that I fish. Speaking of spawning and fishing, this is going pretty well, especially with the treasure chests. And oh, speak of the devil, hi. There thou art. Let's see what I get out of this one. Another carp. And another bait. Okay, I, I see a pattern here, game. Thank you. Alright, so as we close up for today, I decided to go ahead and make a recycling machine. Because I, look, I was looking at some of the stuff that I could end up making. And I, did, I didn't realize this until I was looking into some of the community center stuff. But the... Uh, thank you. Oh, yeah, you are a fruit. Okay. The trash can, if you put soggy newspaper in it, it will come out with cloth that you can donate... And typically, you would only really be able to make in a loom, which we can't actually make yet, I don't believe. So, that's... I, I find that to be interesting. It's it's an odd little note. And also the jelly we can put in the community center, so that's why I'm not selling one of them. Anyway, I think that'll do it. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Appreciate it. Have a great night. 
and I'll see y'all tomorrow. We got level 7 farming, so watering can and hoe, and I would mention the loom, wouldn't I? Well, there you go. And level 6 foraging, which means we can now make a lightning rod, which is great for when you get these lightning storms. And we can make fall wild seeds, which we don't really need yet. And we can make warp totems to the beach, which, again, speak of the devil, 